Assalamu alaikum all viewers and listeners. Hopefully you are fine and feel fresh. I have done a lot of work and solid work. Right now I jumped and crew parameter 5.0. Whatever the version you have. So it doesn't matter, okay? Everything is same, the methodology is same, the commands are same, okay? But yet the version is different. Right now I have opened my crew parameter 5.0 as you can see over here at the top of the page and what you do first actually right now this is the initial lecture so actually I will deal with something um, that is really important for the beginners and uh, the the one that have started the crew parameter initially so right now here it asks the select working director what do you want to save your files direct uh, so whatever you're doing work inside the crew so right now I'm directing it my desktop that please save my all files on the desktop okay so right now in this lecture what I'm going to do actually to deal with you people something basic so for that come to new or you can come to file or even you can just press control plus n so all will be work the same so right now I will just click on the new just make sure here is the part selected and part this is the subtype and here make sure the solid body is selected so here uncheck this solid to select the proper units right now what to do is actually like I'm going to select the millimeters right now. Okay, so such kind of window will pop up with you people, and this is the graphic window of the group parameter. So okay, what to do is actually in this lecture, a lot of things we have to discuss. Okay, so once you open your group parameter, so here a lot of things you have done well. I hope, but the things that is really impelling I will cover a lot of and uh, one uh, and coming lectures I mean so actually what I mean this is the feature manager design tree okay actually on the left side what I'm gonna going to show you this is my feature manager design tree and actually this is my ribbon okay and actually this is what actually you can control your files or even you can open uh, the old files that you have saved already and you can do whatever okay so actually uh, in operations okay sometimes you need to convert uh, a solid body into sheet metals okay so for that or you will eat even you can jump uh, from solid body to sheet metal so for that what to do actually is just click on the operation and switch to solid now what's and the datums okay and atoms really this is very important for you people to come we have planes we have axis point and the coordinate systems this is why sometimes we needed it so that why uh, we have this portion and that is called the datum. You already know that datum is nothing just you have to specify something even the plane axis point from a certain fixed portion. Either that could be the plane or either that could be anything. And this is the sketch. Okay. So and today's lecture uh would try to cover the datum. Okay. And today's lecture we will try to cover the datum or even some portion of data so be with me like right now and from here you can control your views like whatever you will see and coming videos so and what should you do right now actually uh, we have to sketch okay and probably you know what sketch and what's in drawing so drawing that is with the perfect dimension you have to draw but sketch first you have to draw randomly and after that you have to dimension that so I have to start from the sketch okay so for that 
just click on sketch and it will ask me please select the plane and come over here sketch after that come here and check the sketch preview okay right now what you should do is right now there are a lot of things whatever you needed you can draw from here like a line right now I am going but make sure you have to draw each and everything at the center that would be really easy for you people okay to avoid yourself from disturbance rather than it doesn't work so that's why you didn't start uh, your feature or your work from the center okay so this is my sketch okay either you can okay after that what should you do I will extrude it and okay and as a solid and okay so this is how um, actually I have raw uh, okay okay now just come to sketch select a plane sketch on that okay like and sketch preview now whatever you want to draw actually it depends on you what is needed okay that time but actually this is the initial lecture so we will try to cover uh, each and everything okay okay so uh, even you can draw a center rectangle even you can draw a circle over here even you can draw the arc or even you can draw the ellipse like and even you can draw the SP line and even you can fill this okay corner assigning the radius as like for example this time it's under 50 okay or you and you can add a chamfer you already know what chamfer is and you can assign the distance of the chamfer as well 50 okay or even you can add text okay just write down let's suppose I'm going to add wasif okay just go to okay so this is what actually you can add up okay so hopefully you you like this video and uh, after that what is remaining or, or sometimes you can add a center line okay this is the end-fine outline that extend either horizontally or vertically and this is the center tangent okay so for example what this is for example uh, I'm going to cancel okay come to standard views and come to sketch and sketch on this plane okay just make it normal and for example I'm going to draw two circles and I will add a center tangent this one and this one okay so this is actually tangent certain line to these two surfaces of the uh, both of the circles so hopefully and uh, what's remaining in this lecture actually is uh, that is, is uh, actually this plane okay uh, just sketch preview okay that is the penalty okay penalty means just once you click on this so here are a lot of things pop-ups over here you can just um, customize each and everything I mean the polygons shapes full files so this time what I'm going to just break up pentagon and just bring it up to here and 
uh, take it on the whatever you want you can just drag it from here and you can just put over here and just make sure after that you can dimension it close it you can dimension it and this length is rather I'm going to take it 100 okay so this is how you can deal with the sketches okay or even you can uh, you can mark the plane as used previous okay and just get because sometimes it is needed so that you have to draw a couple of things on the same plane so you have to uh, mark the plane as previous one so we have done with the sketching portion in this video so hopefully you like and coming videos we will try to uh, deal with the editing okay how can you edit something and 2d whatever you, you want to make so and coming videos we will deal with the editing so hopefully you like this video but make sure if you are new on my channel so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh thanks for watching